Yeah, Jess Ariel, history really repeating itself here in Norman. Eight years after that city shut down more than a dozen wells, they're closing down even more again. That's because they found the exact same thing in the water, the natural poison known as arsenic. Like a good soaking. From what he sprays on his garden to what he pours in his home, Josh Cummings okay. follows a very simple rule. I don't trust the other guy. That means filtering every drop of what comes from the tap. And you can tell making ice cubes out of this versus making ice cubes out of the tap water, the clean water is completely clear. But the water situation facing Norman, a bit more murky. This week, the city's shutting down four of its 32 wells after they tested too high for arsenic and gross alpha, a measure of radiation. Those four wells will be sorely missed. Uh, we might have to buy more water on an emergency basis from Oklahoma City. Uh, we might have a rainy week. And the city might need to start saving up. The well water in question comes from the aquifer, which, unlike Lake Thunderbird, naturally produces arsenic, chromium, even uranium. We're just going to have to resign ourselves. The aquifer is going to need to be treated. But with a $100 million price tag for a new treatment plant, it could be years before the well water gets the purification it needs, forcing the city to keep closing wells take it and Cummings to stand yeah. by his motto. You're going to you know, keep yourself healthy of your own you know, means, or you're going to rely on someone else to, to tell you it's okay. Now that because those wells are shut off, the residents of Norman should not be in, in dan any danger of drinking contaminated water, but they should be able, they need to try to conserve as much as they can, because as the drought lowers levels, the chance of arsenic rising goes up. We're live, Morgan Chesky, KOCO 5 News.